The Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary is the largest in the nation. Nearly 300 miles of our coastline touches sanctuary waters. Like an underwater national park, the National Marine Sanctuary protects our ocean resources while allowing for many uses. We all live in a watershed. A watershed is an area of land that drains water to a common river, stream, or storm drain, and ultimately that ends up in the ocean. I'm standing here in one of 10 major watersheds that flow into the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. We all need to do our part to protect and conserve these watersheds because they provide a habitat for wildlife, they provide a source of drinking water for our local cities and they provide an opportunity for us to really get out and appreciate and enjoy nature. There are many ways you can get involved in protecting water quality in the city of Salinas. Just learning about this place, learning about the watershed you are part of, realizing how, how much this landscape uh, has changed. This, this land that what you can see behind me has undergone major changes over the last hundred years and just learning about that, realizing it's an important step. Get involved in water quality monitoring programs, participate in cleanup events, picking up trash from water, ways, uh, streams, lakes near your area, near your neighborhood, participate in native plant restoration events and just enjoy the open space, help, help keep it clean, help protected for the community and for yourself. The Central Coast supports a very diverse $5 billion agricultural industry that produces more than 200 crops, the primary crop being lettuce. With this comes many challenges for the farmers. They must sustain a viable business, comply with environmental regulations, and protect natural resources. The sanctuary partners and farmers got together to form the Agriculture Water Quality Alliance. They help to address water quality impacts such as high concentrations of fertilizers and pesticides that flow off of the fields into local rivers and streams and ultimately into the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. The Agriculture Water Quality Alliance helps to implement practices such as keeping the soil on the farms and reducing the amount of runoff from the fields that flow into these local streams. So ultimately, water quality on the Central Coast will be improved. People like to live near the water, so cities develop near streams and beaches. Increased numbers of people and structures alter the natural landscape, which leads to water quality problems. The streams, rivers, and beaches are modified to make suitable areas for buildings and roads. In a natural setting, water has time to percolate into the soil, which removes pollutants. In urban areas, all the concrete and buildings restrict the water from reaching the soil for absorption. This impacts water quality, as this increased runoff carries pollutants such as metals, detergents, pesticides, and bacteria, which ultimately enters the ocean. Consequently, we all play a role in ocean pollution. There are a lot of ways that you can help preserve and protect our coastal watersheds. From everyday practices that you do in your daily life, to getting involved with community programs like Snapshot Day. Since 2000, the Coastal Watershed Council and the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary have teamed up on this important program. We systematically monitor the health of the creeks and streams of the Central Coast. 
From the Marin Headlands to Morro Bay, we use this important data to inform policy decisions as well as educate citizens on the importance of their local watersheds. We invite you to join us on Snapshot Day this year.